So here we have a theropod tooth, presumably belonging to Albertosaurus, which was the large uh, top predator of the time, about 70 million years ago here in Alberta. So you can see uh, the tooth with the serrations all along the edge, indicating that we're dealing with the meat eater. So that tooth behaved just like a steak knife slicing through flesh. And we find uh, Albertosaurus teeth in this layer of, that we call a bone bed. Uh, that contains a lot of bones of a horned dinosaur, a ceratopsian, called a rhinoceratops. So it's telling you that, yeah, this animal here, that horned dinosaur, died, its skeleton scattered around, the bones scattered around, and then you had big predator that came and fed on the site and lost a few teeth in the process. So that's why we find in the same bone layer both the bones of a plant-eating horned dinosaur as, long, as well as the teeth of a meat-eating dinosaur, Albertosaurus, that came and fed on the carcass.